Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. I hope you're not offended by what I'm about to show you. You may find it hard to believe what school officials found on math teacher Brad Johnson's classroom wall at Westview High School in San Diego. Just this week, school board members voted to appeal this case to the 9th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals to protect the children in their care. Who knows what impact these posters might have had on young, impressionable minds. I'll give you five seconds before I show these. I know, you're asking yourself what kind of teacher would want students exposed to radical thoughts like those found in the national motto, the Pledge of Allegiance, the end of nearly every presidential speech, the song America the Beautiful, and the Declaration of Independence. As one bold school board member asked, if this is allowed, what else can go up on the wall? Well, actually we can answer that question because at the same time the school district demanded that Brad take the posters off his walls, there were other posters on other walls, such as Hindu leader Mahatma Gandhi, Muslim leader Malcolm X, Buddhist leader Dalai Lama, Gay Pride, Stop Global Warming, oh, and the lyrics to that John Lennon song. Imagine, there's no heaven. So, the school district is arguing that Judeo-Christian views, as expressed in our nation's history, are too offensive for students to view. But other religions, even anti-religion, okay. Maybe you'll be encouraged by the words of the first judge who ruled on this case. Ironically, while teachers in the Poway Unified School District encourage students to celebrate diversity and value thinking for oneself, defendants apparently fear their students are incapable of dealing with diverse viewpoints that include God's place in American history and culture. <laughs> what do you think the chances are the school board will make a poster of that and put it on the wall? Ben Franklin, eating a donut. I've eaten a few donuts in my day. <laughs>